Hello Jesus people, uh, God talks today on emotions, okay, God has emotions, he's very emotional, just to let you know. So God's emotions are like, put your emotions in an amplifier, those are God's emotions. He said that um, God is touched with the feelings of our iniquities, uh, meaning that he is touched by our feelings, he understands our feelings, he created our feelings, and he's touched by our feelings. Uh, he understands that man is fragile and we need certain things that help us feel stable and secure. Um, God provides us homes and families and food and things that help us feel uh, comforted and secure. Now, when Lazarus, um, pass away and his and Mary and Martha were very sad and Jesus waited four days till he came and saw not Lazarus I think it's four days three days or four days and then he was he cried because Jesus cried because everyone else was crying but Jesus knew he was going to raise him from the dead and he called him forth and he said Lazarus come forth and he came forth out of his grave clothes and he resurrected him and so Jesus is touched with the feeling of our iniquities. It says um, uh, a contrite heart, Jesus will in no ways cast out. Uh, he's also our comforter. He gives us the Holy, the Holy Ghost in um, Acts 2, uh, the firepower of God. It's the Holy Ghost that speak in tongues. It's the comforter of God that he, so he will not leave us comfortless. That's what Jesus said. And Jesus is somebody. He's a person. He's a personality. He created us in his image, and we have personalities. We don't like to be ignored. Um, Jesus doesn't like to be ignored. Why do people not pay attention to God? I mean, why do people ignore God? Well, it's because he's invisible. It's easy to ignore someone who's invisible. So it takes a real effort to talk to God and to spend time with God and to share our thoughts and ideas with God and to read the word because any kind of relationship takes the effort. It takes work. And in order to get to know someone, we have to spend time with them. We spend time in God's word. We get to know his mind. The word is the mind of God. He wrote his own book about himself using people that were faithful, that knew him to write about him. So these people basically wrote for Jesus Christ. They wrote for God. Uh, they they were his biographers, if you will. So Jesus Christ, um, he started the kingdom. He is the kingdom of light, of perfect light and love. There was only one kingdom originally. And then when Satan contended God for the kingdom because he wanted to be worshipped as God, uh, the kingdom split in two because Satan fell, taking a third of the angels because he was very influential. And so they split the kingdom into two. Now there's a kingdom of light and a kingdom of darkness. Well, when Adam and Eve fell or um, were tempted and got kicked out of the garden, the earth defaulted to Satan. And so Satan and the principalities run the earth. And God runs heaven. And God says, they, they ask him, well, how are we to pray? And Jesus said, well, you pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So we pray God down into earth. So we take territory for God. This is spiritual warfare. It's not done physically. It's done in the spirit. So there's order to it. There's rank and order. Uh, we are drafted into God's army. Um, his army and his kingdom has rank and order and rules and runs the spiritual warfare. Um, there was, they, they answer prayer like, there was an angel, Michael, the archangel, who was bringing a prayer answer, and he was contented by the prince over Persia. And so it delayed the prayer answer. And so there's all kinds of things going on in the spiritual realm, but God wants you to know that he has emotions, he has personality. He wants us, if we're heavily burdened, it says to bring your burdens to God, and he will give us freedom. The truth will set you free. We need to speak the truth in love, and it sets us free. This is the power to God and to salvation. So God has all the emotions that we do. I mean, he has love and he has joy 
and excitement and he feels sad he actually repented one time to Israel I mean he, he also didn't he was regretful of even making man at one point because the sin of man was so pervasive on the world you know God gets his feelings hurt I mean if we ignore God he doesn't like to be ignored just like we don't like to be ignored and he doesn't want to be your obligation okay like I have to read my Bible or I have to pray God doesn't want to be an obligation I mean do you want to be an obligation to somebody else no you want them to be to be excited about spending time with you to be willing to talk to you you want them to give their time freely you don't want to have to pull it out of their hands and try to make them listen to you when they're texting their friend I mean who wants to do that you want them to want to spend time with you want to get to know you we shouldn't read the word so that it's difficult for us and becomes the obligation we should read it out of joy even if it's just reading one sentence a day the word is the bread of life it's what feeds us but we don't need to read it like such an obligation that we're miserable because then what kind of relationship is that with God when it's so difficult for us that says the joy of the Lord is your strength okay we need to have joy and God even does get angry I mean he chased the money changers out of the temple he created a whip and changed the money chased the money changers out of the temple you know God has anger too okay so it's only a problem when we don't give our anger to God when we live in that realm that's not okay to live there we need to live in joy and happiness because that is what the power of God is and the kingdom of God so I hope you enjoyed my talk on God and remember that God is a personality he did gave himself he does have a name and he gave himself the name that is above all names which is Jesus Christ he had a lot of names names represent your position um, in the Old Testament he gave himself all kinds of names you know mighty counselor Prince of Peace uh, Lord of Lords I mean he gave himself names in Revelation he gave himself names I mean God's got all kinds of names because of his positions um, but the name above all names he gave himself is Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ is God he's God who came down to earth in the flesh and died for us to redeem us so we can enter his kingdom and come back to earth and reign and rule with him for a thousand years and he's going to give us jobs in his kingdom because there's rank and order and his job is king so it's pretty exciting to see what God is going to be doing next